What's up? This is Score Twenty Four Forty. We're following Sniper Seventeen video. Today we'll be preparing the brand new landscape store for its grand opening here on the Square Farms map. We'll be transporting all the equipment over to the store and we'll be getting them into position. We'll be using a 2018 Ford F-250 extended cab along with the Kenworth T-800 and two tilt deck trailers to transport all of it over to the store. Up first we'll be hopping here in the Kenworth, we'll get this warmed up and then we'll be taking a walkthrough of all of the equipment will be transporting over. This landscape store will be providing all the landscaping tools and equipment such as mowers, everything like that. You guys can see we'll be transporting two walker mower 52 inches. We'll be transporting two X mark stand on mowers 48 inch cutter decks and then two X mark laser Z's. Over here we will be transporting this nice guys trailer which will be renting out a skag leaf vacuum which we will also be uh, renting out two skag leaf Leaf blowers, Honda push mowers, and X mark lasers up there with a bagger. And we do actually have a few equipment already over there, which is pretty cool. Those are small things like a head trimmer and a leaf blower. We'll be hopping here on the inside of the Kenworth and we'll be leaving the factory and route to the store. I did get a lot, a lot of requests to do this, so I'm very excited to do it. And I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good and I hope yours is too. I just recently featured this kind of worth in a mod review so I thought I would feature it for today very high quality very nice model and we are renting this along with the trailer we are using right now for transporting over the other trailer and that truck will be kind of the store's pickup truck and they'll be able to deliver and uh, kind of pick up broken down mowers if they do need to but you guys can see this is one very cool Kenworth really do enjoy using all the mods when metal farming does release you guys can see so far it's doing a pretty good job and I do recommend you go check out all of the other videos setting up those dealerships uh, we did a variety of them a cat dealership a bobcat and I can't wait to do plenty more of them so stay tuned for all of those and you guys can see I was pretty creative for the way I did load up some of the mowers on here to maximize the amount of equipment we could transport on just one of these now it looks like we are most likely going down to this one it is a bit tricky I'm still learning this map I am adding on to this each and every single day but you guys can see very big trailer full which is nice and I believe that it is actually this one yep here it is so this is a pretty cool uh, store I really do like a lot I can't wait to kind of come over here from the lawn care shop from the tree services to possibly buy new chainsaws leaf floors or even weed eaters so it's going to be a very realistic thing and I can't wait to include this in all of my upcoming videos as you guys can see we have arrived here at the store take a look at that it is pretty cool we do have a working garage everything like that and let's kind of take a look if there is an entrance around back so it looks like there is and we'll just kind of park along the side we do want to get a little bit closer so we definitely want to turn our beacon lights and hazard lights on I hope you guys are having a great day today let me know how it is down below in the comments my day is going good and I hope yours is too and I really do appreciate all of the support here on the videos you guys are awesome with all of it you guys can see I'm right up against the curb here that looks to be perfect right about there up next we'll be kind of sliding this back and let's kind of take a look I believe that I will have to unlock it let's take a look We'll be unlocking the trailer and we'll be raising it up. As you guys can see, that does look pretty cool. I really do like it a lot. And overall, this Kenworth did a very nice job. So let's kind of first up before we start to unload them. Let's kind of take a look. Since we do have two of each, I want to keep one on the inside. And then we'll be putting one out here on display. You guys can actually see, it looks like we do have a hose wheel, wheel barrels, uh, leaf blowers, and a lawnmower here, which is pretty cool. And then on the inside, it looks like we do have a few hedge trimmers, which is nice. And I can't wait to actually put these to work take off that you could pick them up and I did kind of ask them to get us some shelving so uh, I mean very nice layout so far like I was saying guys one mower uh, of each will be going on the inside just because they are pretty much brand new so up first I do want to come over here kind of pick up some of these I think only have one out on display that way we could keep these brand new out of the sun and out of the weather and whoa take a look at that guys some of these might fall over and we do have to be pretty careful about that and those mowers we cannot actually pick up I am looking into ways to kind of pick them up and kind of use them, put them to work. But they do look to be electric, which is a very cool uh, aspect of uh, powering equipment. 
If you do have any cool video ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I've been doing, like I was saying earlier, quite a bit of these dealership ones, and I really do like them a lot. And I just enjoy uploading daily here to YouTube. It's a ton of fun, and I really do appreciate all of the support you guys do give me. So these wheelbarrows, I just want to kind of keep one on the inside, especially since when it does rain, they kind of collect water, and if we do not kind of empty them out, they would pretty much rust, so it's a bit easier to kind of protect one. And also, customers might want to buy the brand new one in the back of the warehouse so this is pretty much going to be the warehouse everything outside our showroom will be the outside area which might be okay but at the same time I would like to kind of get a new dealership for this kind of the dealership is pretty much the landscape store so we'll just call it the landscape store you guys can see I am trying to put these leaf blowers there onto shelves and it looks like it's just not going to work out the best like I was saying, guys, we'll be coming over here for all of my different series to purchase the equipment. I will be doing this now for all of my videos. Just to add the realism how you go to the different uh, places here on the map and you do be equipment there just to kind of add more life to the map, if you would say. Looks like we did do a pretty good job there. And I think we'll do this last one. Like I was saying, guys, we can't really pick up those mowers. Really wish we could have. I mean, that would be a pretty cool thing. This one is not going to be going. So we'll just kind of put that over there. We did not grab it correctly. So up next, we'll be kind of coming over here guys since the X Mark laser is the 72 inch which is pretty cool we do have one with the bagger also which is nice and this one I'm actually thinking we'll kind of just put this front and center it's a very big one and it is very nice and actually I'm thinking for these let's kind of just put these up against the building I think that the, uh, putting them right here so we'll put one there and we'll kind of leave those mowers there we'll, we'll kind of pick up the blower and I think we'll put the blower right along here and then the wheelbarrow will go right next to it this will make sure that if the wind does kind of come blow them around, they won't really blow and they are closer to the store, especially for security reasons. Up next, we'll be hopping here in this laser Z and we'll be putting this one on the inside. Like I was saying, guys, we do have a pretty nice warehouse, but I do want to get a big showroom where you could walk in and also drive the mowers on in the showroom. I think that that'll be a pretty cool thing and I think we'll just kind of tuck all these back here since, I mean, this warehouse area, we will be repairing and maintaining mowers where our customers do bring them in. Now, as you guys can see, I actually did uh, do a little creative parking as you guys can see I put them to the side especially for the walkers that did help since you can't park them side by side they are just too wide but you guys can see take a look that you just kind of drive out just like that it's a bit scary at first especially in real life having one wheel or possibly just about driving off the side of the trailer but if you do it right it will come out good up next you guys can see we'll kind of put that one just like that and then this one will go on the inside now, like we were saying earlier, guys, we'll be selling our variety of equipment in a variety of brands. And because we don't have too much X marks or walker mowers, I thought that it would be better to kind of have one place sell them all instead of having mini dealerships, which might uh, be realistic. But at the same time, I think uh, many uh, stores do uh, carry many different brands. So that's kind of the way I do have this set up as we are selling Skags. Uh, we will be getting some Skag Zero Turns for like the next upgraded video of this. So stay tuned for that. But we do have a plenty of other equipment we'll be getting now for these walkers I think to get this one off you guys can see we do actually have to worry about the back three wheels the back three wheels are more important than the front two just because the deck will actually stop but this these bottom two are the ones kind of holding them around you guys can see pretty close there take a look at that almost wanting to fall off but we did do a really good job there backing up which is nice and we'll kind of just back this up and park it here on the inside you guys, since we did come pretty close to there, but we were good, and overall the walker is very nice. It does have a floating deck, and I do recommend you go check out the Lawn Care series, where we do put a lot of this equipment to work. I can't wait for the Lawn Care season to go into full swing and do some pretty cool videos with them. But you guys, since so far we do have one more over here, and then we'll be switching over to the 2018 Ford, and I was going to use a Follow Me mod, but especially here on this map with the roads, and I thought that it would be a little bit safer for us just to do it ourselves too prevent trucks from going up on the sidewalks or possibly even losing the load. You guys can see we've done quite a lot so far today, which is nice, and overall I really do like a lot. So you guys can see, take a look at that so far. Wow, we did do quite a lot. I really do like how we did park those up. Next up, we'll be switching over here to the 2018 Ford F. Uh, 
250 extended cab XLT. Very nice. Big shout out goes to Super Duty Modding for sending this over. I partnered up with him to make some pretty cool mods. I really do appreciate him for doing it, and I can't wait to do plenty more. Now, the truck is squatting quite a bit just because this is a very heavy load. And actually, there you guys can see a trailer is pretty much, uh, Hanging off of the trailer, that's not too realistic, I don't usually like to do that, but that was the only way for it to work. Looks like we actually did kind of get caught up here on it, it just because that uh, section of the trailer got caught there with the jack. Looks like we'll have to back up here and readjust. This is a bit unrealistic, but like we were saying earlier guys, the sidewalks here in this game do make driving on this map a bit of a challenge, but I really do like the sidewalks at the same time, so I will not be removing them. Sometimes we can't be as realistic as we would like to, but I do strive for it, and I've been doing a pretty good job with it. So I think once we do arrive, I will be kind of moving the Kenworth out of the way. That way, if we have these right next to it, it would be a little bit easier for us. It looks like it is the next street coming up. If you do have any cool dealership ideas, let me know down below in the comments. This is a pretty cool series I'm pretty much starting where we prepare all the new ones, especially since we are here on a brand new map. It kind of does fit in very well with it. So you guys can see we are here just down the street from it. Take a look at that. I am going to be getting a big sign that does say Landscape Store, which should be pretty cool. Maybe kind of change the name. So if you do have any cool ideas for the Landscape Store, should we do Square Farms, Landscape Providers, something cool like that, let me know down below in the comments so up first I actually do want to come over here to Kenworth and I will actually be moving this to the other street just so that we do more room and we do not have to move too too far so up first we're going to tilt this back and then slide back the axle but you guys can see that actually does slide back also which is pretty cool the tongue of the trailer just because the attachment does so you guys can see just kind of moving this to this side of the road going up there on the sidewalk just a little bit but whoa very good job overall parking this up really nice and close Up next, we'll be coming over here, and we actually do have to unload two trailers. And I usually do not like to have the truck unloaded from the trailer, but it looks like we will have to do that today. And this will actually be a bit of a tricky problem. So let's kind of park up right like this, and let's kind of take a look at this. So I do have the load unlock, which it looks like it did fix the problem. We'll kind of slide back that axles, and we'll tilt this up. So as you guys can see, we did do a pretty good job there. We'll disconnect this, and just take a look at all of that weight. There's quite a bit of weight. We'll kind of turn around here just because there's a little bit more room and uh, we probably could have turned around in the other area but overall very nice truck big shout out goes to super duty modding for sending this over and up first we'll be moving this utility trailer awesome so you guys since we are now attached to this and I think we'll probably just back this up right to the corner of that uh, shop area on the outside and actually I think it might be safer to put it on the inside so let's kind of just put this on the inside just because I mean we aren't really selling this we are just renting it out to people who want to use it and I think that should we kind of uh, sell trailers here let me know down below in the comments I mean that should that would be actually a very cool thing to do we only have a few more different types of equipment and then that's pretty much it for today we'll definitely back up here and attach now this is a bit tricky towing it wise just because of the collisions on it but it looks like we are doing a pretty good job and we're just gonna park this right along the side of the building here just like this and we could easily chain it up to the building so that nobody can take it and you guys can see that's actually pretty much it there so I think we'll probably just park the truck right over here and start to unload the last few things as you guys can see, it looks like we do have a few Skag Leaf Blowers and then a few Honda Push Mowers and then finally the Xmark Laser Z. But take a look at that, guys. He does have a headset on, which is pretty cool. He is actually protecting his ears from it, how loud this is. And usually when you do use equipment for so long, it will kind of uh, possibly damage your hearing. And you always want to have good hearing. But you guys can see very cool Skag Leaf uh, Blower. And I think we'll probably put this right next to this one. Now, we could actually potentially sell that Leaf vacuum so if people want to buy it they can and we'll definitely order them one or they could just rent that one from us for the season or for like a giant cleanup and I think that that's also a pretty realistic thing you guys can see pretty much turning around here the handling of this is a bit tricky 
this is a little bit of a longer video, which a lot of you guys have been requesting. I am trying to do longer videos for all of you guys. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and Twitter at Square2448. I do post daily on both of them, and I really just enjoy interacting with all of you guys over there. And take a look at that, guys. Just about to kind of fall over with this. That was actually a bit funny back there, which is pretty cool. And also, you guys can turn on my post notifications so you won't miss a new video here on the channel. I upload every single day two times a day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to a day, and I really do enjoy uploading here. It's a ton of fun, and you guys show so much support on the daily videos with all the likes and everything like that. So we do have a few more things, and then that is pretty much it. This is really taking shape, so I do like it a lot. I actually think we'll kind of just park this Honda mower right over here. We'll just kind of back it up next to electric, but hopefully uh, people buy the a Honda just because gas does have a bit more power than the electric. And then this one we'll be putting on the inside to kind of keep at our storage area for those that, like we're saying, don't want to buy off the showroom and want to buy the ones that are brand new right out of the box. I will be doing some pretty cool real life videos this season, so stay tuned for that. Some leaf cleanups, some lawn care, and I do have some pretty big things coming also project wise, and I can't wait to do all of them. I think we'll just kind of park this right over here just because this is a pretty good spot for all the smaller tools, everything like that. And the last one will be the X Mark Laser Z with a bagger. We do want to put this on display. Now, this is just to kind of show the option of that bagger, but whoa, whoa, you guys can see just about to kind of fall through the ramps. Not the best thing there, but take a look at that guy backing this off pretty good job and this is very nice we really do like the bagger on this which is pretty cool but as you guys can see we were able to kind of set up the brand new landscape store here on the square farms map i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more